Hey guys, it's Up Golf, and today we don't have one but two Supreme Box Ogo hoodies to review and a headman on top of that uh, from Union House. These fakes are really good, let's get into it. First up, we got the teal Supreme Box logo. I'd say the quality is on par with the Sage Box logo hoodie in terms of errors. Uh, there aren't very many, and overall, it's really good. The teal box logo is pretty good. I'd say it's better than the Sage box logo I got in terms of less issues. Um, I've only really seen two major issues on the letters and that is on the P and the R. Uh, the edges are kind of warped and inconsistent. I see some black dots and it's just kind of messy overall. Um, some of the E's don't have great stitching on the edges either, but not as severe at all as the P and the tags on the teal box logo are pretty good overall. The Supreme tag is good, the font's good and all. Um, if you flip the tag over, there isn't any excess tag, which is good. I'd say overall it's pretty good. Uh, the main in Canada tag is an appropriate amount of space away from the other tag, about 2 millimeters, which is good. However, uh, the font looks way off to me. It's a little small. It, looks, it doesn't look right. And if you flip the tag over, the font on the serial number isn't good either. And the, the serial number itself isn't upside down, which is a huge indicator that it's fake. I don't know what's going on. And plus, the bottom of the tag overlaps with the uh, top of the letters on the Supreme tag, which shouldn't be that way. Um, I'd say this, these are, tags are right on par with the tags on the fake uh, Sage Fox logo hoodie. There are some different errors with both ones. The smaller tag on the outside of the hoodie is pretty good. I don't see any issues with it. It's not too long at all. It's a good tag. Next up, we just got a Supreme headband. Back side of the headband is good. The new era logo is indistinguishable from a real one, so uh, that's good. The letters on the Supreme headband are pretty good, but the U and the last D are missing a few stitches. The bottom of the U is missing about four stitches. It should be completely straight. And uh, the last E on the left side is missing another four or five st stitches. It should be a straight line, but it isn't. Besides that, the Supreme headband is good. Overall, the tags on the Supreme headband are really good. There's only one minor flaw in that. It's that the Supreme tag, the red Supreme tag, is a bit long. It shouldn't overlap with the top of the New Era logo. It, it should be about maybe a millimeter shorter at most. But uh, besides that, it's good wrap things up we got a supreme cdg hoodie um the quality is okay the box logo is pretty good but i would say there are some issues with the tags let's get into it the box logo on the cdg hoodie is pretty good but it has the same issues that all other union house box logos have and that's that uh there are some inconsistencies in the stitching and the edges on some of the letters are pretty messy uh there are black dots at the end of the the letters and some of the stitching is warped and then some of it just sticks out. Um, so there's some messiness, but overall it's pretty good. All right, moving on to the tag. Um, the tag itself is pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, the font on the box logo on the tag is way too thin. It doesn't look right at all. Uh, I like to mention also the list of materials and where the hoodie was made, made in Canada. All that is too high, it should be a, a bit lower. The top of the pre-shrunk should be aligned with the top of the box logo, and it's aligned to the center of all the text. Instead, the text should be aligned to the left, it should be straight, but it isn't. The Coma de Garçons font is a bit small, and it should be much lower than it is. Um, and also, parts of the tag overlap. So overall, the tag is pretty bad. The Coen de Garçon shirt text on the bottom of the hoodie is pretty good. I don't really see any problems with it. That wraps it up for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.